Hi there, I'm John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm going to discuss preprints. In scholarly publishing, a preprint is a version of a paper that is posted at a repository and likely precedes publication in a peer-reviewed journal. The preprint allows early exposure of the work and allows for discourse about the findings of the paper earlier than the 6 to 12 to 18 months it might take to get the paper reviewed and accepted in a scholarly journal. Using one of these preprint services is very straightforward. The author posts the complete paper and appropriate figures, etc., in one of the standard formats. The procedure is very similar to uploading a paper to a journal's website for consideration for peer review. Some points to consider about preprints. First, and most important, is that the material is not peer-reviewed. Next, an author may still, and will likely, pursue publication in a journal. Most journals will consider articles posted in these repositories, but a small group of journals will not. I'll post some links below to a list of which journals will not consider a preprint, but check with the journal's policies first. Also, preprints usually do not count towards tenure. Finally, the posted paper will persist even after the paper is published as an article in a journal. Because of the lag time, journals may take to peer review a manuscript, and because of the desire for feedback, preprint services have seen impressive growth both in the number of services or repositories, as well as the number of papers posted. The popularity of preprint services is many times credited to Archive, which was created by Paul Ginsparg in 1991 at the Los Alamos National Laboratory for distributing theoretical high-energy physics preprints. Archives is now a force to be reckoned with in academia and in scholarly communications, as over 8,000 papers a month are posted there as of 2016, according to their statistics. The success has led to many other such hard science repositories in the archive series in engineering, biology, agriculture, and others. In 2016, Soch Archives dis debuted in the social science arena. There are many other preprint services, too many to list here. There are some great lists by discipline. I'll also post them in the links below. And there are many debuting all the time, such as Peer J's preprints, preprint.org, Figshare, to name only a few. Helping with this growth is the fact that several large nonprofits are supporting preprint repositories, both in funding and in recognizing the content in awarding grants. Preprints have had a significant impact on research and scholarly pursuits, particularly in the open science and open access era. A continued recognition over this content not being peer reviewed is very important. The role these repositories will play in scholarly communications and in publishing will continue to evolve. Having these papers assigned to DOI or digital object identifier, being cross-ref, fully indexed, and noted as not peer reviewed in search engine results will be essential. Well, that's it. Hit the like button below if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or click on this playlist to see more videos about preprints and make comments below or email me with any questions. Thanks so much and take care.